Sauce is one of them type of players where you don't know how to guard him. He can shoot, the three, lay the ball up, go by you. He pretty much do it all. You can always find an open man. His first step is ridiculous. Silas was a great leader. He was one of those guys who was fun to play with and make everyone around better. He's also one of those players that if y'all in the gym together, he's going to make you want to work 10 times as hard. That's just the type of player he is. Uh, lockdown defender. Lockdown anybody you put in front of him.
Yeah, a lot of girls probably crying from my old high school. Look, you see me everywhere they go, I probably would too. Look, crossed over to the Jordan man like I'm Mike Go. Yeah, eating blessings so much I might need light bulb. Yeah, take up for the dogs like I'm walking in tucks. Yeah, this just sin is plan, man. I see all y'all shook. Look, knew that I was great ever since I was a rook. Man, all y'all singles making me look good. Okay, praise to the most high, yeah, that's Jesus. Look, but when it come to this rap thing, I can't lose. Yeah, back to back number ones, that's the thing greats do. Yeah, tell them boys that ain't nothing I can't do. It's my year. It's my year. Look, God made me for this, man, it's my year. Look, ain't no more games going for the kill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Working for this way before it deal yeah. Cause this my year 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 Look, God made me for this man, this my year Okay, okay, yeah Ain't no more games going for the kid For the kid uh -huh. Working for this way before it deal Yes, yes. Yeah. Ball in my hand, got the magic touch I just run the play and it's immaculate So consistent that they call me Mr. Clutch If you wanna beat me, need a lot of luck Gotta get it shotty like Lloyd But y'all still treat me like a boy So I'm here to take over the whole game Cause y'all left me no choice I really don't see a lot of people Just on the level I'm at Yo, say it every year Cause every year my year And that's just facts Look, all I see is prosperity God the only one ahead of me Just for the clarity Can't teach faith, but this that hard work Mixed with God's grace So honestly, homie, I really think You should be scared of me I got the recipe, this is my destiny Ay, ay, don't believe you can step to me, won't get the best of me Do the right thing like it's finally directing me Getting everything I want, I'm going Rambo, yo Hope you know that this might get me cause he said so It's my year, it's my year Look, God made me for this man, it's my year Look, ain't no more games going for the kill Working for this way before it do yeah. Cause this my year, this my year Look, God made me for this man, it's my year Hey. Ain't no more games going for the kid Working for this way before it deal yeah. Yes sir Classic uh. Who you know mixing the old and the new I'm like the modern day fabulous Who was Satan meant for bad and I made that thing fabulous Missing it others with my name and I ain't having it Gave me motivation so I had to get up after it uh, I can't help it man, I get it from my pops So I don't got time for kids, bops, savage guys uh, Since day one I've been the hottest on the block uh, Since day one I told them Jesus is the rock Take them back to the days when I was walking to school I couldn't wait to get out so I could get in the booth <laughs> Look, my teacher worried about my classes I told her, I'm just trying to make a classic Wanting me to sell my soul, I told him I refuse These wanna be me's, copying moves, y'all cute If y'all rock with me, I'm cool with being on the outside Forget their closest ones when they searching for their cloud high Yeah, when they searching for their cloud high These dudes, Eddie Murphy, but who get the last laugh Was done, forgot the only thing that's ever gon' last Yeah, <laughs> and that's facts It's my year, homie I'm Coach Singleton. I have the pleasure of uh, coaching alongside this young man here. He already spoke on behalf of the kids, so I just want to speak on his behalf. Uh, Silas uh, is a kid himself, right? No one wants to hear that, but he's a kid himself. Right? Now I'll say that in the most respectful way. <laughs> I'll say that in the most respectful way. But his love for the game is you can't question his love for the game. Right? And, and what more do you want in a coach than one who loves the game? Right? I think we should stop there, but, but more important, he loves these kids. This brother would really, like what he said, he would really go through five more ACL tears, tears just because of his love for these kids. And your kids were in the best hands that they could have been this year because of silence. He sacrificed, he came to you know, practice the crutches or arm crutches. He, he hustled from um, you know, appointments, hours away to get to practice. And he poured into these kids every, every day. And then, not only did he do that, not only did he show sacrifice, not only did he show that he showed up in the game, but more, most important, his love of God. 
his love of Jesus Christ he poured into every one of them. They may not even know the significance of what he has done this year for them, but the seeds that have been planted were definitely watered from this basketball game. He challenged them, he encouraged them. Uh, I don't throw the jack at him, he over encouraged them. <laughs> but, but he was, whatever superlative you want to put in there that's a positive one, he personified it. And I think we should just, and again, he's 19 or 20, but if you want to think, if you ever want to try to call him, his calling is clear. He's going to be the one who serves God on some type of mission field, whether it's as a basketball coach, whether it's as a basketball player, whatever. He's going to show the love of God. He's not ashamed of the gospel. So could you just stand up and just show him and use your hands? I just caught God by surprise, and this wasn't something an accident that happened or something that I did wrong or I made a wrong decision, like, oh, I shouldn't. Like, God knew this was going to happen, and He let it happen because He knew that He would, could only teach me certain things through this happening. And so, if I look at this from the lens of Scripture, then actually what this is, is this is a blessing from God. Because I, my goal as a Christian is to be more like Christ above everything else. So this isn't just a trial I'm having to get through. No, this is God loving me because he's making me more like Christ through this. And that's my goal. That's what I want by any means necessary.